first off, shout out to Timber, who's the mod of this channel, along with Lifted, and the mod in the Discord. He put me onto this new plugin, and it's a Max for Live device. I want to show it to you guys. So I loaded up my 10X session. 10X is a track off my album, What's Your Superpower? Out now on all platforms. So there is a Max for Live plugin called Device Matrix. It's made by Constantine Clem. Device Matrix is a Max for Live plugin which lets you display and control up to 400 Ableton Live instruments and effects on a single screen. It's your perfect assistance when mixing, doing sound design, or producing music. It's fully compatible with Ableton Live 10.1 and Ableton Live 11. Key features, enable and disable devices, including VSTs or chains in the whole project. Quick adjustment of dry, wet, and amount parameters for any native device in a project. Quick mapping, instant project overview, statistics, horizontal, vertical, and light version. And there's some videos here, photos and everything. If you want to download it, it's at constantineclem.pro. Or you could just do a Google search for Max for Live device matrix. I loaded up 10X and I put the device matrix on the master. You get this plugin when you load up device matrix. Then when you click open matrix, this is what you see. It's basically an overview of the entire session. So you can see these are the tracks and these are all the effects or devices on the tracks. Thing is device matrix I think is best used if you have two monitors. So I would put this on my second monitor. What you have to do when you first load a session, you have to click get devices. And then this will basically populate all the tracks and all the effects into this view. So that's the first thing you have to do. And then you have access to basically editing each device. Hey, yeah. Make, make it rain if you're self-employed. Oh yeah. Make, make it bounce, bounce. You can solo tracks from here. X. If I push this button, it will turn off all the effects. And if I push it again, it'll turn them all on. Make, make it rain if you're self-employed. Oh yeah. Make sounds. Yeah. Make it. There's so many tracks in the session. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Where this plugin would come in handy is if you have a big session and you want to edit different devices, I just think it's really cool that you can turn off a bunch of devices and turn on a bunch of devices with one click. The downside of this plugin, if I had a chance to talk to the developer, this is what I would say. I would say one of the limitations is if you have more than 40 tracks, it won't show anything after 40. Now this session is massive. Most of my full songs are at least 80 tracks. So that's something I would ask for the developer to work on. But I think that this plugin has a ton of potential. What do you guys think of something like that? Would that be useful? Let me show you guys how it works from scratch. This plugin is a bit slow to load, especially if you have a big session because it has to populate everything. Once you load this plugin, hit open matrix. And then what happens is it pops up blank. Then you have to click get devices. And this is where it can take a while. One thing that's dope about this, if you have a native device, like for example, a glue compressor, I have it on this group, you get a dry wet control that pops up. So if I turn this, I can actually affect the dry wet. You can adjust the font size of everything. So if you wanna see the font smaller or bigger, you can adjust that. You can see it shows you how many tracks you have in the project and how many devices. So I have 79 tracks in this project, but it only will show me 40. So that's something that I would ask him to update. If we go to the website, this device is only $12.99. I think it's totally worth it. I think that this can really make workflow easier in Ableton. Definitely a solid plugin, definitely well-built, and definitely dope. I think it's very innovative. I love what people are doing with Max for Live devices. They're really going in and expanding Ableton. I hope that some of these features will become native in Ableton. I feel like... Having more ways to view your session, like Pro Tools, would really help Ableton. As far as I can tell, it's not CPU intensive. It seems like you can put it anywhere in the session. I don't think you're limited. I just threw it on the master.